Hi there students. To nor. Notice the pronunciation. Nor. The same sound as in neither and nor. Yeah? Nor. I know it starts with a G. Okay. To gnaw means to bite or chew on something continually to wear it away. So, for example, a dog gnaws on a bone. Okay, it's to bite something persistently and to wear it down. So, a rodent gnaws at different things. Maybe it gnaws a hole in your skirting board, the board that runs along the wall by the floor. We can use to gnaw also to talk about corrosion, to corrode, to erode. So the rust is gnawing away at the paintwork of my car. It's eating it little by little. The sea is gnawing away at the cliff. It's eroding it slowly but surely. Notice you can gnaw something or you can gnaw at something. Okay. The dog is gnawing the bone. The dog is gnawing at the bone. You can also use a way to gnaw away, meaning to wear down, to make less. Um, so you can gnaw a something away or to gnaw away at. Okay, to gnaw away has the idea of to make it go. Um, to gnaw away at something. So the uh, sea is gnawing away at the cliff. Now we can use this verb to gnaw metaphorically with the idea of to waste away, to cause anxiety or stress. That's a bit different, but let me explain. So guilt is gnawing away at my mind. I've got this little voice in the back of my head gnawing away. It's uh, saying, you shouldn't have done that. The constant criticism gnawed away at his self-confidence. He made it less and less and less. The criticism made it less and less and less. The utility bills, gas, electricity, water, are gnawing away at my bank account. They're making it less and less, little by little. So this is metaphorical use of to gnaw at a bone. Thinking about it, you could also gnaw on a bone. But I think more normally nor at. So what about the origin? Well, this there is a word in Old German, nagen, and there's a word in Old Norse, naga, meaning to eat away, yeah, to gnaw away. Notice as well, this verb is a regular verb, nor, nord, nord. Yeah, despite the weird pronunciation. Okay, so now your next question is formality. I think this is a neutral verb and I think you could use it easily in an informal conversation and I think you could also use it in a more formal document without any problem. Okay, so I think it's nice and flexible. So to gnaw, to bite or chew on something, wearing it down. I had some wonderful lamb chops and I gnawed away the little bits of meat that were left when I had finished. 
to corrode, to erode. The rust is gnawing at the paintwork of my car. It's gnawing the paintwork away. And then you can use it to mean something that's causing you anxiety, that's talking at the back of your mind. Guilt is gnawing away at me. Um, lack of time or pressure of work was gnawing away at his enthusiasm to learn English. Okay? And remember, it's neutral, so you can use it almost anywhere. And a regular verb. So, to know, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To know.